Welcome to the Whiskey Vault. You need a hug? Uh... Okay, another gift, another gift from a repeat, Brett Redding. Brett Redding, did he double down on the Magnificent? He doubled down. You double Magnificent, man. <laughs> wow, that's a new one. <laughs> the no, double there, Magnificent Master. No, there's been some doubles. Now what Brett said was, hey, here's another donation for the vault. Right. I hope you like these better than that Treasure Island Distillery Rye. Because we didn't like that one. Well, it's a rye. It's already got a strike against it. Yeah. For us. For us. <laughs> okay, so Needs we got help. two here, both an Alexander Murray product. I'm helping. So here's what happens is, oh, it's right in my forehead. That was a direct shot with paper. That's, That's impressive. It's, Daniel, it's all forehead. <laughs> <laughs> You know, I've actually had that thought before. When you're bald, where does the forehead stop? Like, right? like really? No, it's behind the For ears. normal people, it's, it's like, ears. that's your forehead, then hair. You have a reasonable dividing line. But on bald people, it's like, hey, can you write something on my forehead? And someone's like, that's a canvas, man. Uh, my God. Like, they just don't know. That's and a so canvas. Here's the conclusion I've come to. If I raise my eyebrows, you can see where my hairline used to be. Just, Are you, you ready? You thought way too much about it. Look that. at this. So it's good you lost your hair or else you'd look like that kid from the Munster. No, I did. I looked like Eddie Munster. My whole <laughs> life growing up, everyone was like, hey, you look like Eddie Munster. Because I had a massive widow's peak that went like way down. And you could totally see widow's peak. Not there anymore. Um, okay, so Alexander Murray is an independent bottling company like Duncan Taylor or Signatory or what, whatever. Sure. They're focused almost entirely on scotch. They do have a gin and a rum, I think. Wait, this and is, this is Trader Joe's. I, well, and they're based in California. Okay. So it's a California-based company who is importing beverages, okay. putting their name on it. Now, they're famous for two things that are a little disappointing. Okay. They're famous for usually getting their product down to about 40% alcohol All right. and for sometimes adding coloring. I wonder if there wasn't the 40%, because here's the thing, I hate compliance and all that bull and most of it's illegal, and most of it's obsolete and irrelevant these days. But the 40% like minimum threshold to be called whiskey, mm -hmm. you gotta believe if that wasn't there, people would be having like 8% Yeah, 37. Uh, well, no, there are in you know, other countries, there's 33% whiskeys and things like that. Right. Um, like Korea, we did that so do, episode, Does right? Korea have a bottom threshold for whiskey? I don't know, but I know that we had one that was 37 point something. Right. Or 38 point something. Okay, so Alexander Murray has made another habit of not just sourcing, usually they won't tell you what it is. I think we have a couple of other... Um, anyway, we got other Alexander Murrays. But they also do the cask selections for Trader Joe's yeah. and Costco. Oh, uh, Costco. The Costco brand. We are regularly Kirkland. often asked, hey, can you do a review of like the these big store brands? Yeah. We can't get them in Texas. No, that's why I think Brett sent this to us because we Thank can't you. get this Trader Joe's whiskey in Texas because you can only get alcohol, lit hard liquor in a liquor store. Thank you. So um, we have Trader Joe's here in Austin, but yeah. it has no hard liquor. Anybody has the, what is it, the Costco brand? Yeah. You want to be a Ben Gibson bastard? We can't get it here. Send us a Costco Send brand. Send us a tube sock. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Okay, so Alexander Murray, this is one of their named distillery ones, and I'm kind of excited about this one. This is Kuila, eight-year-old. Okay. Now, look at how dark that is. That is darker than the Kuila 12 I have over in the corner. Isn't it? That looks like an average amount of darkness. No, no, no. Look at this. Look at this. All right, fine. We'll try the Kulila too. I know. Look, this is the twelve. That's a green bottle. You can't tell. I know. I'm gonna pour it out. You gotta pour it out. Have patience. In my glass. Here's a. Uh, wait, wait. Here's a closer age comparison. That one too. Get the no, Kulila no, no. and that one. No, this is. You still forgot a, the Kulila. This is still a twelve. That's the. Oh, look at that. That's a twelve-year-old by uh, also independent bottling. Right. Right. Look at the difference on those. Yeah. Right. There's. That's colored. They colored that whiskey, which is kind of annoying. They also chill filter, um, which removes a lot of the flavor compounds yeah, it's an, okay. and oils. Well, I'm reserving judgment. That says, they keep track. That says Kulila on the back, so we're going to need to pull out the Kulila. Keep track of which one of these is Kulila yeah. and which one of these is Glenmore in a second. Ooh, man, just... I, oh. 
I'm not in love, Yeah, cool. uh, it's just... All right, you said all those bad things about no, it. No, no, it, it's not gonna be a bad whiskey. It's just a reason that some people get annoyed with them for messing up a good thing. Mm. Now this is uh, eight years old, so for Kalila it's a younger bottling. Um, do you know what day we're on in terms of when the live stream comes? I think it's tomorrow. Is the live stream tomorrow? Tomorrow. This should be Thursday. 3 p.m. Central Time. It may be tomorrow unless Daniel's confused, which could happen. I've happen. never been confused in my whole life. Or wrong. I was mistaken once. So live stream <laughs> Friday, this Friday, December 22nd, 3 o'clock Central Standard Time. Uh, and if you're at work, your boss really owes you a day to just pull out the little whiskey and your little sippy sip. Yeah, I get a little sippy sip. Yeah. I just picture people with sippy cups. <laughs> I'm actually digging this. Me, I am It's too. a little fruity for a Kalila or for an Isla. Compared to a classic uh, Kalila, it's really light. Okay, look at how much more character that has, even though it's older and could should be smoother. Character on this? Mm-hmm. On the nose? There's more, no, no, on the taste. There's more oil compounds in the flavor. It lingers more. It, it's got a better oh, mouth feel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. It's not as thin. There it is. Right? That's what happens when you chill filter things. It's not on the nose. Mm -mm. It's on the, on the taste. On the taste. Because it's the oils you're filtering out. Yeah. Or not all of them, but you're filtering out some of the oil compounds. Yeah, I love the oils. Mm-hmm. Give me oils. That's why, see how thin and smooth that tastes? That's, yeah. that's a chill filtered whiskey. Sure. All right, let's move to the Glen Moray. Now, I have Glen, several Glen Morays over here somewhere. Here they are. And this is, what, 14? So, 16. Well, you pour that. Nick Burns. Isle of, uh, our, oh, good. Now, look, that's the 16. That's the tw 14. They're pretty close. Nick Burns. That's not our clean glass. That's our friend died recently because we couldn't remember his blood type. He kept whispering, be positive. Be positive. We can't, <laughs> but we can't anymore with him gone. <laughs> <laughs> but that's, that's not quite a dad joke. It's more of a Jack Handy joke. <laughs> that's like dad jokes meet dark humor. Yeah, yeah. that's Jack Handy, right? <laughs> Like, <laughs> but we can't anymore yeah. because he's gone. This is the Trader Joe's. This is the Glen Moray Trader Joe's. Damn, Trader Joe. On the nose, I'm really, I'm excited. Well, that's definitely a fruity space head. Is it? Oh yeah, that's vanilla. That's uh, maybe even grapes. But the aftertaste is all pretty. Let's compare that to Glen Moray's version. Uh, Tom Mulder. Never heard of anyone drinking this, but any thoughts on Chivas Regal? Yeah, that's yeah, a, that's a thing. It's a good blended whiskey. Yeah. If you like a blend, you know what? Let's try a sip of that to end this video because I want to see what Chivas stands up to after a bunch of interesting single malts. Sure, why not? All right, here's the Glenmorey 16. Yeah, exhaled in the glass. No, I hiccuped. I didn't exhale. And then you got like nose steam in there. <laughs> It's a streak of nose steam. I'm waiting for I'm waiting for it to get out. <laughs> Almost. You want your own glass? Almost. Is that an option? No. All right, it's gone. I'm going to the other side here. They're about the same. Yeah. Not far off. Yeah. So uh, whatever they did to this one, even though it's only 40, the Glen Moray 16 is also 40. The, so, the no different, the, no major difference. The Trader Joe's um, sticks with me longer. Okay, so what I would say is, the, if, of after, the two whiskeys, I prefer this one. Yeah, the Kaliva. But, the one that is closest to the original brand, yeah. it's the Glen Moray. Sure. Trader Joe's chose a, a decent space side whiskey. Okay, um, so should we, we've pulled out a lot of whiskeys and said, and said, yeah, it's pretty good, or this is better than the others. Have we got, have we, have we given specific notes on, for example, the Kalila? Cause I, know I, I didn't on the Kalila. So the Kalila for me, let me go back to it, is the same as every Kalila, which is always those peaty, tarry kind of black, uh, or spice notes, kind of pepper, charred smoke, but it's not as dense as something like Ardbeg or Lafroig. Right. It's uh, thinner and lighter kind of smoke. Yeah. Um, on this one, which is their finish, the taste is 
kind of uh, apples and fruit mixed in with all that smoky flavor. And then the finish is basically invisible because it just vanishes. There's no oils lingering. Gene Abukon? Abukon? Yes. Gene. Piconia Effendum Supra Me. Pour, yes. Pour money over me. Money pours over me. She's referencing something. The logo on the Whiskey Marketing School graphic yes. says Pecunia, Pecunia. Let me see that again. I can't do it from, <laughs> I can't do it from memory all of a sudden. Uh -huh. My mind went blank. The logo shows it as Pecunia Effendum Supra Me. It's Latin for pour money over me. I'm sure we nailed the accent. Yeah. It's Latin for pour money over me, because that was the Latin I chose for Whiskey Marketing School. Because <laughs> it felt right. Because what we're trying to do at the Whiskey Marketing School is not just teach you things about whiskey, but also show you how to make money with what you know. Yes, mastering the presentation of whiskey and helping people better experience whiskey and using that ways to further your own career. Because knowing things is fine. But making money from it is even better. <laughs> Especially when it's whiskey. That's right. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm pleasantly surprised by the uh, a little bit of the Trader Joe's here. and no, It's not blowing my head off. No, no. Right? Not really. I'm not having to like clean up my jeans. But I'll bet it's not that expensive. Yeah. I. Uh, and Brett didn't tell us how much, probably because he wouldn't say how much he spent, but thanks for tracking down some interesting whiskeys for us. Sure. And uh, I think we have another Trader Joe's coming up on another round of gifts next week. Yeah. Tomorrow, live stream, 3 o'clock. Live stream. Central Standard it's Time. the five best whiskeys for advanced whiskey drinkers, crowdsourced by you magnificent bastards. It'll be in the description. It'll be in the description below. Uh, and I uh, hope you can make it. Tell your boss to <laughs> off. You're going to drink with us at work. <laughs> Seems fair. <laughs> Here's to fighting, stealing, and drinking. If you fight, may you fight for a friend. If you steal, may you steal lover's heart. If you drink, may, may you, you drink, drink with us. Hey, thanks for hanging out with us in the Whiskey Vault. Don't forget to throw in a like, hit that subscribe button on the bottom right, and drop a question or comment down below.